Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. I notice I always say good morning, but then by the time you guys watch this, it's either evening or afternoon. And I'm going to start saying afternoon just because it makes a little bit more sense than morning because it's definitely not morning when you're watching this. But anyways, I know my hair is messed up and I just woke up. It's really late in the day, actually. It was a pretty long night for me, but everything's all good. And uh, today I really want to find that huge white tail buck. Now I know it's only a two minor, but it potentially could be a diamond. And I've never gotten a two minor diamond white tail. So I really want to try and find him. Well, that's actually a pretty decent for kind of a messed up looking rack on him. But this guy here is actually even bigger. That's a big three. I think we might go for either the four or the three, or we might try and double up. You know what? We have the 30 odd six. So maybe we'll try and double up here. Oh my god, I don't know what that second shot was, but the third shot was pretty good. <laughs> that second shot was, yeah, I, I don't know what that was. And uh, it's hard to tell what happened here, because what's interesting about my map is these zones actually have been disappearing. The whitetail zones, as you saw from yesterday, look, it turned into a moose, a moose and moose and this is definitely a whitetail zone too so i do have one whitetail zone this was a whitetail zone too you saw from a couple days ago we got a couple of uh nice bucks right here so yeah i literally have one whitetail zone right now oh, 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 oh that's a big bull that's a big bull i don't think we can use a 420s but maybe he'll slow down long enough for us to get a decent shot all we need is a single oh that was money come on you know it i mean we could put a follow up into it just because yep first shot was good that's a vital hit right there perfect the second shot was just a follow up and i think we might have actually gotten uh intestine but nonetheless that's a big bull that's a real big bull a bunch of cows over there actually this one here yeah it looks like that one's gonna go down too just didn't quite make a perfect shot because he's gonna run a little ways but medium should take him down so i'm gonna say that's either intestine or liver that was i'm pretty sure the three yeah that was a three and it was a gold liver just like i thought just missed the back of the lung but that three turned into a gold at 167 a very nice 275 for a trophy rating and this should be the four Yes, it is a four, and that was a double lung at 139 out. Actually, I figured we were a little bit high, but still caught the top of the lung. And 275 for a trophy rating. But this right here is the biggest bull of the whole herd that we just got. He came trying through at the last second. That should be a gold. Depending on if the scoring system is messed up, I don't know. But there's no way it wouldn't be. I mean, I think that it's got to be a little bit messed up because this is the biggest bull that we got and it's only a silver, 267. So trophy rating wise, he wasn't big enough, but I think that the scoring is a little bit messed up on this. And the first shot was absolutely smoked. Double lunged him as he was quartering away on the trot at 65 yards out. That's good penetration for the 30 odd six and a really solid bull elk. So before we go after any giant bull moose, I want to see how the 30 odd 6 can actually do on the moose since the update 2.0. And we have a cow out here at about 300. So I want to see just how effective it actually is. Should have been smoked. Well, the good thing is the hunting pressure actually is working. But the bad thing is I don't see her track anywhere. We spotted her right here, right? And uh, I don't know about you, but I do not see a track here from that cow moose that we spotted. I see tracks over here from what should be a black teal, but no tracks from our moose that we just took a shot at. Yeah, that's gonna be a black teal or a white teal. Um, but I saw a run. Okay, we found some tracks way over here which should be her and i see blood right there so we found her well at least we found where she was running to and i don't see any more tracks from this moose uh well i had tracks going that way and no more tracks no more tracks no more blood no more anything 
Well, I'm still trying to find that Kamus, and honestly, I think pretty much the same thing that happened yesterday happened today, except for this time we have the 30 odd 6. Yesterday we had the drilling rifle, the 9.3 drilling rifle. But I found this guy. That buck there looks pretty sweet. That's a black tail, probably gonna be gold potential. He is a four, but he's got a really cool looking crab claw on his left side, and his other side goes straight up, and he doesn't have a fork, so he's very unique. I think we're gonna go for him. We'll just take the 6.5. He's about 180 out there, so we'll go for a single lung. That should be able to bust through shoulder and be able to get a single lung. So what I'm realizing is any rifle that's like a little bit smaller than say the 300 or the 7 millimeter on the moose, I think at over 250 yards, it's really not very effective at this point. I don't know if it's a bug or what, but I mean, you can get vital hit and it's just, you don't find them. <laughs> As you saw from yesterday, it's just, they, they keep on running and you never find them. But here's our buck down here. Let's take a look at him. Left lung, he is a gold and yeah, that's a sweet looking buck. Not exactly as cool as I thought, but still pretty awesome looking. 172 for a trophy rating so that's a nice gold black tail and yeah you know what we'll get him mounted because he does have a really cool crab claw on him so i still don't see our giant buck that we saw yesterday but there's two beautiful white tail right here this guy right here is max weight and so is this one this one is a little bit bigger than this one because he's wider so i think we'll go for this one first since he doesn't want to lift his head up Wow, that is really rare what just happened there. Usually, the first one you take the shot at is going to be the better shot. But in this case, I mean, the first one piled up as well. But the second one dropped right in his tracks. Wow. So I think we're going to grab the smaller of the two first, which is this guy. I mean, he's not small. Definitely should be close to a gold. He is a gold. 232. Wow, I didn't know he was that big. Left lung, stomach, liver. That's why we dropped him. But that is a monster whitetail buck. Not going to get him mounted just yet because we already have a couple of them. But this guy here, we might get mounted because I think this one might break like 250s. 255 score left lung at 184 yards. Yeah, I think we have to get this one mounted. 255. He's only about like 20 points off from a diamond. But this spread here is really cool. He's super wide. In fact... Let's check how wide this thing is. 24 inside. That is a 24 inside whitetail buck right there. I mean, it's just, I've never seen one that big. So yeah, we'll get him mounted definitely. What a beautiful whitetail. Man, we gotta be getting close to that dime potential whitetail buck. He's gotta be nearby. We're within about 500 from when we first saw that whitetail yesterday. So that's why when I saw these bucks, I thought that that could have been him. They're both max weight, so the good thing is those tracks will be gone. We won't be tracking those tracks anymore, but he's got to be nearby. Okay, guys, you're not going to believe this, but I'm pretty sure we might have found our buck. Now, I don't see him just yet, but I do recognize this buck here. And if this is the same buck that I saw that was in the herd with that massive buck, then there's a good chance he should be in here somewhere. Oh, I don't see him. I still don't see him. I cannot believe, I cannot believe we don't see him yet. I mean, we should be literally within like 300 yards away from where we saw that buck, but I think we'll go for this one. Smoked him. Uh, I tried to hit that other buck, but did we drop it? I think we might have dropped that buck. I don't see him. I, don't know, I tried to put a really quick follow-up and try and go for a neck. But uh, I don't know if we got it or not. So what's interesting now is this is actually uh, like 7 o'clock in the morning. And Whitetail don't even drink during this time. So... Basically, this is whitetail eating time. And that's where we're finding these whitetails right now. We are, as you can see, right next to the water, but it is not drink time for the whitetails. Got a bunch of moose over there. Oh, we gotta be so close to that buck. 
Okay, so this is the second buck? Did we hit the other buck, is my question. Uh, it looks like we did hit the other buck. And that's actually, like, not bad. So, we might have doubled up here. Wow, that, I mean, that is just... That's just stunning. The devs did an incredible job on the white tail here. And the thing is, yesterday, the buck that we saw in yesterday's video, a lot of people were saying, oh, I would have chose the diamond white tail first. Well, I already have, I think, like, eight diamond white tail. And I'm never going to get sick of finding diamond white tail, but... Yeah, that's why we chose the piebald moose, but that's beautiful. That really is. Wow. He's a gold 232. I ended up with a double lung stomach. Look at that penetration. 178 yards with a 6.5. And a really nice gold as well. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we doubled up here because I have blood from another one going this direction. Although I tried to hit neck. So if we didn't hit the neck, I honestly am a little bit concerned about like what we might have hit but he's down right there so that's two nonetheless that is definitely doubling up with the 6.5 and this should be the biggest of the biggest bucks yes he's a gold holy crap 261 oh my god is this the buck i don't know i'm like 90 percent sure this is the buck but if you look he only has one side that's absolutely massive that's the side that we saw the dime potential and we couldn't see this side ever. Yeah, I think this is the buck. I'm pretty sure we got him. I'm pretty sure we got him, guys. He's only 10 points. Well, actually, like 15 points off from being a diamond. If he had both horn or both antlers the same, I call him horn sometimes. So sorry about that. But um, if he had both antlers the same, that would have been probably a diamond. And I'm pretty sure that that's him. So I guess we were right. We did find him. I mean. I don't see how that went to bend the same buck, but he weighed 201 pounds. Either way, I mean, we got to get that thing mounted. Wow. And it was a tough hunt. I hunted for this guy so long yesterday. And yeah, I'm like 99% sure this is him. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.